I think um, a lot of the, the companies, they see so many different uh, AI cases uh, in the media, on LinkedIn, on, on presentations, and they just want to do the same. Um, but taking a more strategic uh, direction to it and see what are you trying to achieve in your company and, and what are the uh, pain points for your customers and, and where are you spending the most time and then targeting uh, the AI uh, to those areas is a better approach because you could pretty much infuse AI into to anything. I think um, the correct way of doing it uh, is to have a customer oriented approach and that is also when you get the most benefits. So we see a lot of um, uh, back office projects and operations projects that shift their objective. So instead of saying that we will cut 50% of the back office, they say we want to achieve instant banking, instant service uh, enabled by the back office. So that way you make new processes for the customers and you do straight through processing in the end. So you get all the cost, uh, cost benefits that you usually have, but you also ensure that you focus on the processes that means the most for the customers. Reinventing the process, coming up with a dream process for the customers, uh, and then applying the different uh, technologies. And that's a very different way of doing it, instead of just automating the processes as they are today. Uh, we have done a lot of analysis across different business areas and we end up with the typical matrix where you assess uh, feasibility and you assess uh, value of uh, different initiatives. Uh, what we have also added to some of these analysis is a new third axis called sexiness. So we see that when we do add that axis, we see that the most valuable initiatives that we can do is often the ones with the less sexiness. And the reason why we are doing this is just to um, um, steer the expectations of the leadership because they're looking for something newsworthy, something really cool to apply, apply AI on. Um, but the most value can actually be in the boring stuff and that is where the bottom line gets the most happy. We're experiencing that Accenture has a unique position into AI. Uh, we have the technology in our backbone uh, and AI is also part of our DNA. But um, com combining that with uh, the industry insights and new creative methods as supplying design thinking methodologies, uh, we see that we can make completely new services that makes the banks more competitive uh, and also more uh, efficient on the inside.